Hey y'all, it's your girl Lolo and I'm back today with another nerdy vlog. What I want to talk about is GIMP again and what I'm going to be discussing is brushes. Brushes are what you actually paint with in the program and I'm going to just expand my menu a little bit so you can see all of the brushes that I have on my computer. Now what these do is these are actually like a little image. It's, it's a GIF. It's on a transparent background and you can just like click on it and bam it's on your picture see like so so it makes it really easy to make cool backgrounds and stuff for your pictures when you first get GIMP it doesn't hardly have any brushes on it has like these little circles here and a couple of shapes and like that's it it's really easy to get brushes from for the program and I'm going to show you exactly where to get them from um, I get my brushes from DeviantArt.com and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this website. If you're not, you should definitely check it out. It's a really cool website uh, where artists go on and they post their work. And it has a lot of different kind of pictures and all kind of cool stuff on there. So definitely check that out. But in order to get the brushes, I'm going to leave a direct link to the page. But I'm just going to show you how to navigate when you go from the homepage deviantart.com. Um, you'll then go to resources and stock images and then you will go into application resources and then you will click on GIMP brushes and here you will find a list of hundreds and hundreds of different brushes that you can download and add to your program now I do want to say one thing the more brushes that you have in your program though that's the more files that the program is going to have to open so if you download a whole bunch of brushes to your program what's going to happen is it's going to slow it down the more brushes you have because every time you open a picture or open a project it's gonna have to load all of those brushes so be picky about what you want don't because like I had it on another computer and I just went all willy-nilly and just started downloading hundreds of brushes and like it would take like an hour just for the thing to open up so be careful about what you want to get so in order to download the brush you go to the actual brush page by clicking on the name or the picture and it'll take you to the page and over here on the right hand side you will click on download the file go ahead and open it it'll open it with your uh, decompression program which is all zip for me you would just click on the folder and click on extract then it's going to pop up with a box asking you where you want to extract it so you will go to the file that you want to extract it to You'll go into your user file, and in that file, there'll be a file that says GIMP 2.6. And then in that folder, you'll open that up, and you will click on brushes, and that is where you're going to extract the brushes to. Okay? Now, you can go into GIMP and see your new brushes right away. You don't have to be out of the program. You don't have to close it and then reopen it for the brushes to show up. What you have to do is you have to click on the brushes on that little arrow um, for your active tab. Go into the brushes menu and then click on refresh brushes. And your new brushes will pop up. And that are these brushes right here see and now there's another thing that you need to know since I did go ahead and download this I'm going to start with a new project some brushes are um, done in black and white and they will allow you to change the color to whatever color is selected on your main color box some are pre-colored like these appear to be pre-colored so I'm gonna get rid of them because I don't really care for pre-colored brushes 
but you see that's they come up and they already have the color to them that you saw in the picture so it's just like the picture basically it's not something that you can really I mean you can go into your hue and saturation and mess with the colors like that but then you have to have a whole bunch of layers going in remember I told you before if you have too many layers going it'll slow you down the more layers you have the more it'll slow down your system so I don't really want this I want something that I can just control the um colors myself so I'm going to just go in here and this is what it is and I'm just going to delete this I don't want it anymore and you see if I refresh my brushes it'll be gone boop they're gone so that's how you add and take away brushes for GIMP um, I hope that this helped a little bit um, like I said I'll leave the link down below where you can get the brushes and have fun y'all okay thanks so much for watching don't forget to rate comment and subscribe